So Jamie, patients with uh, chronic pancreatitis can have uh, the complications and issues, and it was mentioned that sometimes they need surgeries. What sort of surgeries can you offer patients with chronic pancreatitis, and uh, how do you decide which surgeries are best for which patients? So certainly the first consideration is, uh, is there really an indication for an operation? Uh, and we consider um, the most common indication for a patient with chronic pancreatitis uh, from an operative approach is debilitating pain. Uh, that's really failed medical and endoscopic approaches. So a patient with chronic pancreatitis has been through all of the opportunities from a medical therapy perspective, endoscopic therapy perspective with ERCP, yet they continue to have pain. Uh, and such patients sometimes end up on long-term opioids. Uh, they are not able to go to school, not able to participate in their uh, activities of daily living, et cetera. And that's the indication to consider an operation. So again, failure of medical and endoscopic approaches and the presence of debilitating pain or chronic opioid use. In terms of the types of operations, we usually break this down into conventional pancreas operations and then the total pancreatectomy with islet autotransplantation. So from a uh, decision-making perspective, really what we look at is the morphology of the disease or the anatomy of the disease. So for example, uh, what is the duct? What does that tube along the length of the pancreas look like? Is it very dilated? Uh, in that setting, we might consider something called a drainage procedure, uh, also called a pusto, uh, to basically uh, decrease the high pressure in that duct system directly into the intestine. In other scenarios, whereby there is disease that is um, localized specifically to the head of the pancreas, we might consider a conventional operation to address just the head of the pancreas, something called a Whipple operation, although more commonly now, we consider uh, less aggressive head of the pancreas operations uh, to preserve the intestinal tract, the duodenum, which would otherwise be removed with a Whipple procedure. So, Really, morphology is the most important consideration. What does a duct look like? Is there a very inflammatory mass in the head of the pancreas that is the um, cause of the uh, symptoms, the debilitating symptoms? And so that, that's how we consider conventional operations. Now, the interesting thing about pediatric debilitating chronic pancreatitis that, again, has failed medical and endoscopic approaches uh, is that Many of those patients, in fact, most of those patients tend to not have that anatomy that is amenable to the conventional operation. So they don't have a big dilated duct. They don't have an inflammatory mass in the head of the pancreas. Uh, and really their disease process involves uh, often a genetic etiology. And in that setting, again, once a patient is debilitated enough and has failed all other measures, we might consider a total pancreatectomy with islet autotransplantation.